Hey guys, how's it going? It's over again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the Magic Link videos. I show you previously how to do hand tracking, how to do hand meshing. I also show you on the previous video how to generate superpowers with your right hand by opening your hand and then closing was basically stopping the particle system from spawning. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm actually gonna refactor that code, create a new script that is gonna allow us to use the left hand and also the right hand. But not only that, I'm also going to allow you to create a new particle system that we can assign independently of which hand. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this video, which is to extend the demo on superpowers that I showed you last time. So. If you don't remember this demo, I just basically posted this in Twitter recently, and it basically shows you how you can aim at a specific location and open your hands wide open. And then when you open it up, it uses the confidence on the hand tracking to determine if your hand is open. And then when you close it, it basically stops the emitting of the particles. So what I wanna do is right now, this is very limited. It only allows you to do one hand and that hand it's the right hand so i want to make some changes to the script and in fact create a new version of the script so we can leave this one intact and that you can also download it and try it and then you can kind of see the progress as i create new scenes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically clone this scene which is called hand machine with superpowers so i'm just going to do command d because i'm on a mac and then basically i'm going to say multiple so it's gonna be the same name, except it's gonna say multiple, and that means it's multiple hands. So now that I have that selected, I'm gonna go into File, Build Settings, and I'm gonna uncheck the one that we just built, and then basically add this one so that we get, it, we get it ready for when we need to do the demo. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on that scene, which I am. And right now, if you notice, if we go under Content, and you look at the Hand Machine to Superpowers, is basically limited. They don't. There's no really a way to determine. Okay, is it the left hand? Is it the right hand? And, and that's what I want to do. I want to add flexibility to determine. Okay, which hand we're gonna be doing the key pulls from, and then what kind of particle we're gonna be doing. I might want to do one superpower on one hand, and then a different superpower in the other hand. So I want to change the way that this is implemented a little bit, but I don't want to change the original script because I want you to be able to test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clone this one. I'm gonna do the same thing, Command D. And then this one, what we're gonna do is, let me see, hand machine, superpowers, multiple, we can call it multiple hands. And I know it's a, it's a long name, but I think it, it'll help us in finding out what each script is doing. And then we can just rename this one, which is gonna be multiple hands. And make sure that I do capital H. Okay, so everything in here, it's fine. I think open hands, the confidence, the particle system, but there's not a way to determine which hand I'm going to be doing that on. And, and right now, you can see that the key pose that, I'm, that I have right now is very specific to the right hand. So what if you, you know, what if you wanna do the left hand as well? And, and that's the one, and that's what I wanna do on this one. I wanna know, okay, which hand we're gonna be doing it on, and then basically apply that to that hand. And right now they're both, so when you run this script, it's basically gonna do it on both of your hands. So what I can do, I was thinking maybe do it in a way that we can parameterize it and say, okay, this is for the right hand and then the other one is for the left hand, but both hands are tracked basically at the same time. And thinking about it, all we need to really do is add a new if statement that we're gonna be, where we're gonna be checking to see, okay, is it, is it one hand versus the other hand? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let me just make sure that I change this because right now I'm saying, okay, if the right, if the right key pose is this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still do, let's actually do, do it this way. So the, because I wanna, I wanna make sure that I, I am tracking both hands. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, let me go back into the UI because the UI is gonna have to change just a tiny bit. And let me go into this one and and then also the, the instructions. So 
So the instructions are going to be using your hands to execute superpowers. That's fine. And then open your hand. We can just say open your hands because, because it's going to be for both hands wide open to spawn particles. We'll start from the center of the hand mesh. Close your hands. We can say close either, either of your hands. And let me just do that one more time. Okay. To stop the particles from running okay so i think that i think that it's fine we can say the same thing here open either of your hands okay and then the next thing that i want to do is i want to say okay i want to this is going to be left and we can say left hand is open and then we can also do one for the right hand because i want to i want to be able to track both so we're going to start with no on both of them and then i'm going to go to 2d to basically change the size of the of the status just change it a little bit higher and then the logo I'm gonna make it let's make it a little smaller so that we there we go and then I'll just set it I think that's fine and then we'll just set it down here okay so I think I think that works and I think the UI looks fine and let's go back into let's go back into the implementation now so what I want to do is I want to I want to make sure that if I stop tracking one hand that I set it back to no, meaning that you know here we have the left hand open. We can just say okay. Well, I guess in this case it's gonna be the right right is open, and then this works for that hand. And the other thing that I need to do is let me I'll just focus on the else after the fact. Let's go ahead and do another if statement for the for the left hand. It's gonna be left, and then we're gonna use the same key pose. And then this one is also gonna be left. And minimum confidence. We can keep the, the same minimum confidence on both of them. I don't see that we need to do anything different there. And and then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, right here, we're gonna say if the right hand key post confidence is let's say that it's lower than so right now we're saying that this is going to be at least 50 percent so i'm going to just take maybe let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take the let's divide that by two and then if we are if we are at that point then let's actually do three because i i, I really i want it to be very a low number before we can shut it off Okay, so we can do that and then I'll also do that for the right the left hand and this is really bugging me because normally you go for some reason I go left and right so let me let me do that as well here and then so I'll do left so this is gonna be your left hand tracking and then the one here it's gonna be for the right hand tracking awesome so left and make sure that everything looks good left and then this one's gonna be left this one is good and one thing that I'm that I'm realizing is we're gonna need two different particle systems because if we don't we're gonna be attaching the same particle system but we want to have them both running at the same time so we'll fix that here in a minute okay so this one it's fine and the same thing for with the status I think we probably should do the same thing on have a status for each hand so I'm gonna change that as well let's leave them as a status for now and I think everything else here looks fine. This one needs to change. It's gonna be left because it's gonna be the position of the of the left hand. Awesome. And then it's gonna be left. And then the particle offset can be just that one. Okay, perfect. And then on the right hand, we're gonna check as well if the key post matches the key post for superpowers. And also if a right hand. Okay, so I think this looks great. And this is, should be right, right, right. And then what I'll do here is if we're lower, if we're lower than our minimum confidence divided by three, which is gonna be, you know, five divided by three, and then if we are at that point, then we're gonna basically stop the particle system from getting, you know, from getting a spam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say particle system, and this is gonna be false, and then I'm also going to stop the particle system, and then we'll just call stop there. Awesome and. And then I'll just do the same thing on this other one. And then we don't need, we really don't need this else anymore. 
So what this is going to do is basically, this is going to say turn off particle system. Particle system. We're going to say that that's the same comment for both of them. I think that's fine. And so a couple more things that we need to do here is I'm going to need a status for the left hand. So I'm just going to say status left hand. And then we can probably just do the same thing for just copy this. And then I'm going to say for the right hand. Awesome. And then I want to do the same thing with the particle system to use for the left hand. And so I want it to be independent because I want different effects. So particle system to use for left hand is what we can call this one. And then let me just clone this and then we'll do that with the right hand. So I'll just say right here, right hand. And then game object holding the particle system for superpowers on the left hand. And then we can say in this one, it's going to be on the right hand. And then I think everything else it's good. That's for the right hand, right hand, left hand. Okay, statuses are good. So now let's just fix some of the issues that we're going to have because we changed some of those variables. So this is going to be left. This one is going to be the right one. So this one's going to be right. Awesome. And then, okay, so that looks good. And then the other thing that we need to do here that I didn't do is if we're turning it off, we need to say no. And then this is going to have to be you know, instead of instead of green, it's going to be red. And then this is for, and the same thing here, let's make sure that we do left first and then right. And okay, so I think that looks good. And then I'll do, just copy paste that there. This one is going to be the right hand. Okay, and then we can just say status right hand. I have, I have a feeling that this is not going to work at the beginning, but we'll figure it out. It's just that I had to be, I've been changing a lot of things, but that's fine. We'll just say, we'll just fix it as we go. Okay, so this one is left. This one's going to be left. It's going to be left and then left and left. Excellent. And then this one, it's going to be the right one. Particle system for the right hand. And then right, 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 right. And I think all of that looks great. Yeah, I think we should be fine. Everything should work. So now what we need to do is go ahead and change the UI just a, li a little bit because, go because we're going to have these ones be independent now. So I'll just clone this one. We just say status left and then we can just say status right hand and left hand here. Cool. And then what I'll do is on the first one, we'll just say this is going to be my left hand, which we're going to start with a now. And then this one, it's going to be for my right hand. So I'm going to start with the no there. And then what I'll do, I'll just resize this a tiny bit. Excellent. And then I'll just copy that height and then paste it on the component above. And then I'll just move it up a tiny bit. Okay, perfect. So this is good. Let me see if I can add some space into this one so that it aligns with the one on the bottom. Okay, perfect. So I think I like that. And the next thing that we need to do is just fix this a little bit. So this one is going to be a different script. So we need to attach the appropriate one. So it's going to be the one for multiple. We need to attach our behavior, which is going to come from the hand mesh. We also need a hand mesh material. And that one I use the wireframe. So I'm going to select the same one. And then open hand is fine on both. Then the particle systems that, that I'm going to be using, let me do the, the UI before we go into that other change that I need to make. And perfect. And, th and then the offset here, let me make sure that that was the right offset because I want to make sure that it looks right. So I'm going to go back into my other scene and go into that. And it was actually point, point 0.1. So let's go ahead and use that same number. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be ba basically going through the hand and it's not going to look right. And, and by that, I mean the actual particle system. So. Let's go back in here and let me go back into the, the the new script. And then this one, we also need to change the name. So it's going to be powers multiple hands. Okay, so I think I like that. And then what I'll do is the last thing that I need to do was change the particle offset. Then the particles to be used, that's the ones that I, that I want to change. So what I'm going to do is I have, so let me go and click on 2D. 
So I have one that looks like that, and, and that one is great. That's the one that we had for the previous video. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna say, this one is gonna be a little bit different, so I'm just gonna say white. And this one, white meaning that it's gonna be much wider in radius. So this one's gonna be just the default one, and then let me go ahead and offset it just a tiny bit so that we can, we can play around with how this one is gonna look. So one of the things that I wanna do is I want this one to be much bigger in radius. So we have a couple options. We can go to shapes and do that. We can change the size here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the radius. And the radius is gonna be much bigger. And which I think, I think I like that. And I'm also gonna change some of the coloring so that we we know that it's gonna be it's gonna be different. And okay, so that one that looks great there. And maybe we change the simulation, the simulation force to be higher so that it looks, I want it to be different though. Okay, perfect. Then the size, let me see if I can change the size a bit so we're not, it's not as thick. Okay, so I think, I think I like that. What if I go and exaggerate the simulation? Maybe, maybe it's wind because we, we have the wind power. <laughs> I think I, I think I like that, that looks cool. So the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into color over lifetime. And let's see if we can make this look cooler. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, there we go. So that's kind of the view that I, that I was looking for. We click on it one more time. And then maybe on this one we start on a different color. Maybe we start on a blue type color. And it looks like Unity is thinking. There we go, and Let's just give it a few seconds. I think I'm just running way too many simulations. Perfect, so I like the color blue on that one. So let me see if I can change another thing. Looks like the my computer is slowing down for some reason. So the other thing that I'll do is we can probably just change this red color too. Let's select more of a, maybe a yellow color. I just want it to be different than the, than the other one. And it looks like it's just struggling through to what I'm doing. Okay, so that, Give it a few few more seconds and it should be set. So I'm gonna go with that and then I think that's fine. Okay, so I just want it to look, I just want it that to look different. And I think we have something different to work to work with. And the other thing that I wanna do is let's go ahead and go into not collision but render. And let's see what we can change in here so that it gives us kind of like a different, a little bit of a different look. So if you notice, I have on the particles, I have a Sphere Pro. And we can probably just select a different mesh and see what kind of what kind of a look it gives us. And this is all from experimentation. I, I don't think there's a right way to do. This one is just a spheres, a spheres, a spheres. Here's just a regular sphere. So if we wanted to just use a regular sphere, then that's gonna give us a little bit of a different look. And I'm gonna go with what we had, to be honest. I think I like that look better. Okay, so I think that looks great. And let me go back into color and see if we can change the color a tiny bit more because that yellow color at the end is just bugging me a little bit. So I'm gonna click on the yellow and let's see if Unity, okay, there we go. Let's see if this loads and I'm gonna hit the yellow, come on, Unity. And it's not Unity, to be honest, it's just that I have a lot of particles in there running. So, okay, so I think that works. Let me see, so if we go from blue, yellow, and we can probably just go back to blue and just end it in, you know, in the same color that we're starting or something similar to that color. Okay, so we should be done here in a second. And, okay, there we go. Okay, so we're almost done. I probably should have disabled the other particles so that it doesn't take that long to run. Okay, so should be done here. There we go. I'm gonna leave it like that because I think it's, the simulation is just struggling from, for all the things that I'm doing. Okay, so I think, I think I like that. I think that works. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and change it back to position as zero. And, Okay, so that's perfect. And then what I'll do is, one thing that I wanna do is that I haven't done is let's create a prefab out of that. So I'm gonna make this one a prefab and also this one a prefab. 
so that we can use it in other videos and okay so i think that looks good so now what i'm going to do is if you notice this is going to be we have two different particle systems that we can associate now we have one for the left hand which i'm going to use the white one to do that so let's go ahead and do that it's going to be the white one is going to be for that and then this other one it's going to be let me actually the main one is going to be for the right hand okay, so i think that works and i think we're, we're good to go i don't think i need to change anything else so let me make sure that i i test it so let's go ahead and run this on the device and see let me make sure that i check a couple more things before i finish so let's just go through this so we're going to check to see that the hands have started then this is going to be a check for the you know if we're if we have a left hand pose in place and then that is more than 50 percent and i noticed that we're, we're using the left hand on all of these instances so i just want to make sure that that is all correct then for the right hand i'm doing the same thing right hand right hand confidence the right status and this is going to be the particle system for the right hand and all of this looks great then we're turning them off by checking to see if it's less than or equal to this value this is the left hand left hand left hand set into false true true and then this is no okay so this looks this looks good all right so i think we're good to go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get it built and show you how it looks on my device i'm going to go into build settings and then click on build and run and we're basically going to replace the build that we created previously he saved and then he replaced and i should see it here in a few seconds on my ML device so I'll continue the video as soon as I'm done with the build. Alright guys so let me show you how this looks on my Magic Leap device. I took a video on the process so let me show you how it looks. So I'm going to hit play. So you can see that we now have the left particle system all working and this one is spawning one particle system where my right hand is basically generating the other particle system can now see that the canvas also shows the state of each so right now i have both of my hands open so the both of them should be green and and you can see that that's actually what's happening i have a yes and a no and, and then it keeps changing based on the mode the also the reason why this is offset a little bit is because when i do a video for some reason it takes the video that way but when you look at it from the actual device there's really no offset everything looks perfect so that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time in this video. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because I have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.